Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see class three max chapter fourteen rupees and five pies. I I have collected a lot of coins, but I don't have a purse. Let's make a money purse. So here they have given steps to make a money purse. Take a sheet of paper and make a fold at the center. Just take a sheet of paper and fold it in the center. Fold the corners A and B. See this this corner. Fold these two corners to make it look like this. Next, again fold it backwards so that your paper will be, look like this. Then what you have to do is. and place the front side of the sheet up and fold the edges c d and e f then if you fold you will get like this next again if you fold you will get this and fold the back flap down and money purse is ready you will see again if you fold through this daughter line you will get this purse for your money next money for our purse collect different coins keep a coin on a flat table place thin paper on it and uh, with one hand hold the paper tight rub the tip of the pencil over the paper softly to trace the coin this is about tracing the coin you can try this with the color pencil or normal pencil next cut the traced coins and keep them in the purse now make uh, notes by cutting paper and write the value of the note on each you can try cutting the paper um paper and write numbers to make to make values and you can keep that in your purse next is money game now whatever uh, notes and coins you made from that you can display the following amount see here they have given sample 26 rupees 26 rupees is Twenty plus five plus fifty and fifty pies and fifty pies. Fifty plus plus fifty pies equal to one rupee. Twenty five plus twenty five pies plus twenty five pies equal to fifty pies. So four rupees seventy five pies can be written as four one rupee and three twenty five pies. Seventy eight rupees as fifty rupee twenty rupee five rupee three one rupee. One thirty rupees as hundred rupee twenty rupee two hundred ten rupee. Eight rupees as five rupee, two rupee, one rupee, fifty pies and twenty five pies. Fifty three as fifty plus two plus one. Write the amounts of money shown by the notes and coins. So here they have given hundred and one rupees. And see here they have given um some amount. So fifty plus twenty plus six, and here it is seventy-five, seventy-six rupees and seventy-five pies. Here it is pies. Next is thirty-five rupees and seventy-five pies. You can check it out. See one twenty rupees note and ten not two five rupees note is ten. Which makes thirty and five rupees seventy five pies. Fifteen to seven and one rupee and five twenty five pies coin. So it is thirty five rupees seventy five pies. Next. See the second one six um five hundred is written here. Five hundred, 
plus 100. Here I have written the calculation. 500 plus 100 plus 50 plus 20 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3.50 plus 2.75. That is 684.25 pies. Next is 77. 177 rupees and 25 pies you can check your answer with this next is shopping so this is a table here they have given some table um, uh, this is a shop and they have written the cost of each item so here it is one um, one ball rate is rupees three, so rupees seven. Top rupees is two. Car uh, toy uh, cost is rupees fifteen. Crocodile cost six point five zero each. The same way they have given the cost for each product, not for the whole. That is for each product. One ball and one toy car equals. So what is one ball? One ball is 7 and toy car is 15. So the amount is 22. One notebook and two pencils is 5 plus 5. Then two bananas and a glass of milk is. Two bananas is 1.50. That is 3. And a glass of milk is 3.50. That is 6.50. One ball, one doll and a ball is rupees 15. One glass of lemon juice and pack of biscuits is 7.50. Find out the total cost. Here they have asked us to write the total amount for the list given below. I have written, first you write down for your uh, own understanding. Whatever you understood, first write and then check your answer with this. One toy giraffe is... 6.50 and one copy they have what is that copy is notebook so that is 5 glass of lemon juice is 3 so 6.50 plus 5 plus 3 is 14.50 the same way you can calculate the remaining things what can you buy if you have a 20 rupee note so I have written few things which can be bought with 20 rupees note first example is um, i have given us 12 two balls one pencil seven top face two balls is 14 rupees one pencil is 2.50 and seven top face is 3.50 i have written the answer you can write change uh, your product and check out the total price so here a sample um, bill is given uh, bill is bill template is given we have been asked to fill the items rate per each item rupees and paisa so i have written uh, my own data you can write your own data and check with it then total the number amount uh, in rupees and paisa So this is also a chart. So here addition and subtraction given from the chart. 12.50 plus 13.50. 13 is 25.50. Next 55.50 and 14 is 69.50. 30 and 31.50 is 61.50. A yes, subtraction is just simpler subtraction. You can try and check the answers. You have 30 rupees note with you. Find out how much money will be left after buying the following items. One ball, one doll and one toy giraffe. So one ball cost 7 rupees. One doll cost 8 rupees. One toy giraffe cost 6.5. So total amount is 21 rupees. So you have, you have to write down the money left. So 30 minus 21.5 is 8.50. 12 
टू बनानाज वन पैक ऑफ बिस्किट्स एंड टू ग्लासेस ऑफ लेमन जूसेस थ्री प्लस फोर पॉइंट फाइव प्लस सेवन एस फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो विच इज इफ यू डिवाइड दैट फोर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो माइनस थर्टी एस फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो नेक्स्ट थ्री नोटबुक्स टू पेंसिल्स एंड टू इरेजर्स टोटल इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी टू मनी लेफ्ट इज रुपीज एट नेक्स्ट इज प्राक्टिस टाइम थ्री फ्रेंड्स वॉन्ट टू बै अ क्रिकेट बैट अंड बॉल बिना हेड फोर्ट रुपी फोर्टी एट पॉइंट फाइव जीरो राम अंड हेड रुपी फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वेनू हेड रुपी थर्टी एट हाउ मच मनी डि दे हाल हाव सो यू हेव टू आड आल दि अमौंट अंड रईट आंसर इज रुपी वन फोर्टी टू हरी बुक्ट रैलवे टिकेट फार रुपी सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो he gave a hundred rupees note so how much money will he get back with the ticket so 100 minus 62.50 here you have to be very careful while borrowing see so you cannot uh, subtract 5 from 0 so it has become 10 you uh, this zero has become 9 After giving this uh, one to this zero, so if you subtract, you will get thirty-seven point five zero. Geeta and her friends went to shopping. She bought things for fifty-eight rupees, fifty-eight, thirty-seven, and twenty-two. Geeta had a hundred rupees note. How many money should she for borrow from her friends to pay the bill? So fifty eight plus thirty seven plus twenty two is one one seven. She had only hundred rupees note, so she need to borrow seven rupees seventeen from her friends. Next, this is a Mumbai news. Children freed from factory. Ten young children working in a Bengal factory were set free today. A news reporter and the police found in a sad uh, found them in a sad condition. The factory made the children work very hard. It paid them only rupees eighty a day. The children were happy to go back to their homes and their village. They will go to a special school so that they can learn to study like other children their age. By making children work, the factory tries to save money. The police will now take action. Let us see how much money the factory tries to save. Money one older worker should get is rupees three five hundred and thirteen rupees. Money one child is paid is rupees eighteen eighty rupees. One person the factory for one person the factory saves five hundred and thirty minus eighty is four thirty three rupees. The factory is saving per day. So for ten persons it is saving. Four thousand three hundred and thirty rupees. So you can make a similar um, calculation if you found any of your uh, children in streets working, and you can ask how much they are paid there. Next is train journey. See, listen to this um, train. Uh, distance carefully and you have to answer the following questions so train journey distance from ja new jalpaiguri so from that place to the uh, the nearby station they have given the fare you have to Answer the following questions based on this uh, this chart, this chart, and this distance. Let's do. So from New Mall to Gauhati. So uh, we are asked to find the distance from New Mall to Gauhati. So the total distance is four nine four ninety. Five. This distance. 
you have to subtract this distance from the whole so 495 minus 57 is 348 so that is the distance from new mall to Gauhati. between new mall and Gau Golpara is 366 minus 57 the same way uh, this distance 366 so 366 you have to minus from 57 so that is 309 same way for uh, and for question C it is 495 minus 175 it is 320 between new mall and Alipuddhar is 175 minus 57 is 118 again from Golpara to Gauhati it is 495 minus 366 it is 129 find the cost of tickets so Bhupan is going from new Jai Jalpahaguri to Alipurdar so what is the cost of his ticket so cost of his ticket is 28 for second one it is 49.50 see the third in the day in the third column they have given 49.50 next Debu Shoma and Gobind are going from New Jalpaiguri to New Mall what amount will they pay for three tickets so each ticket cost 12 rupees 55 into 3 is 37.50 they gave 50 rupees note so 50 minus 37.50 is 12.50 so they all got tickets hope you all understood if you have any doubt post in comment section thanks for watching